Chat GPT results are kind of hit or miss, but it's always a hit if you follow this simple prompting formula. You will get consistent good results. Hey, what's up? My name is Shivam. A while ago, I realized the importance of mastering the art of prompting. But like many of you, I struggled with why some prompts work like a charm while others were, mm, well, generic. So I embarked on a journey investing hundreds of hours in prompting engineering courses and applying these lessons in my daily life. Today I'm sharing with you the 6 essential building blocks for a perfect prompting formula. These building blocks are task, context, exemplars, persona, format and tone. But remember there is an order of importance to these components. Let's break it down with a simple example. I am new to video editing, guide me how to learn video editing. Task comes first followed by context. Here the task takes precedence because even without context, there's still a meaningful output, but not the other way around. Like if I just would have said how to learn video editing, there will still be a generic answer. So when crafting your prompts, remember the formula as a checklist. It will guide you to include just the right amount of relevant information. And here's the kicker. You don't need all the six components in every prompt for a good output. Let's delve deeper into each building block with examples. The task this component should always start with an action verb, meaning what do you want ChatGPT to do? And request should have a clear end goal. For instance, guide me how to learn video editing. Here ChatGPT will guide you as its action and to help me learn video editing is the end goal. Context is tricky. Ask yourself these three questions. Who's the user or at what stage they are? What's their goal and what's their environment of functioning? For example, I'm new to video editing. I know the basics but don't know the advanced techniques. I want to use Premiere Pro as my software. Here I'm is the user, new to video editing and I know the basics but don't know the advanced techniques is my current stage and using Premiere Pro is my environment. I hope it's clear by now. Persona is a good way about how you want ChatGPT to be. It could be a mentor, expert or even a fictional character, easy as that. It is most important to talk about after task and context. Just this one point will largely improve your whole answer. You are Seth Gordon, a renowned marketing expert. Now guide me how to learn video editing as a good marketer. I am new to video editing, I know the basics but don't know the advanced techniques. I want to use Premiere Pro as as my software. You see, the results are starting to change drastically. From generic, we have moved to a bit more specialized version of answers. Exemplars means examples for a situation to obtain better results for a different question, keeping previous example in mind. Including them in your prompt significantly improves output quality. Like, I'm planning to enter recycling industry, what are the challenges? Use SWOT analysis. This prompt is again kind of okay okay Instead, I will use a prompt which already has an example. It can be excerpt from a conversation, podcast or anything. I have nothing so I will get this example from ChatGPT. Look here. You can now see that the final result obtained is indeed better and of course as you know there was literally no external information input from my side. Moving on to the next note, format. For formatting, visualize how you want the final output to look. Paragraphs, bullet points or code blocks specified. For example, in my previous example, let's pick this one. See that I already got this in the form of bullet points. I will convert these into code block format. Why? Because it looks more elegant. Lastly, tone sets the mood. Casual, formal, enthusiastic or pessimistic. Tell ChatGPT what vibe you are going for. Usually this helps GPT to understand what is your audience type, what words and emotions to choose. For example, in emails we usually have formal tone but a YouTube script might have any tone depending upon the type of channel. And we have finally reached to an end. For your convenience, here are the discussed points. You can have a screenshot and then use it as note. By following this formula, you will craft prompts that are consistently yield high quality outputs. To take it up a notch and turn into a prompt master, 
subscribe. If you want more advanced techniques, do let me know. I'm currently planning prompts for images. That's it for today. Now, if you are looking for an awesome browser, then you can watch this video right here and you can watch my recent video from here. Like, share, subscribe. Stay safe. Bye-bye.